Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. This is a uh, NC 45 1000. We're glad that it's a great piece of equipment. We're going to be uh, talking about how to set up a diaphragm pump. But any diaphragm pump, you need to be cognizant of a few things just before you ever start. As you can see, this PTO shaft is not the correct length. The PTO shaft has to be cut and made for the right length to your individual tractor. Second of all, you need to make sure there's pressure on the diaphragm, like 20% of the operating pressure that you're going to be at. The third thing you need to check is the strainer. Always, it's got to be a certain size, which is a 16 mesh, and then uh, you always make sure that it's clear and operating cleanly. Okay, we're looking at the T-Jet strainer. This is a suction strainer. You should always go to it first thing before you do any spraying. Make sure it's clean. Use the ball valve to cut it off. Uh, it keeps you from wasting chemicals. Open it up, clean it out, put it back in. Open the valve back up, open, and you're ready to go. Okay, there's also an additional ball valve on the tank. In case you ever bust, bust the line, it'll help you from losing your tank load. For any equipment, you must know your limitations. The maximum pressure of the pump is much higher than the components. So if you set the pump too high, you will damage the parts. Do not operate until you have determined your operating pressure and set a limit that does not exceed 90 PSI. This is your bypass, your relief valve, so you gotta make sure it's set correctly. And all diaphragms, you always start off disengage, throw it up to spray. Okay, before you spray, how you want to have it set? You want to have the diaphragm open, you want to have all your boom valves open, have your agitation open, so then you can start turning down and make sure you don't overpressure. So this system has a three ball valves, left, center, right, left, center, right. Also has a regulator valve, has an agitation line. So this, you always make sure this is open, your agitation line uh, is open, your regulator line is open, then your ball valve's open. They're, they're open when they're in line, so when you close one, you can see it operate, it's perpendicular, it's closed. In line, open, perpendicular, closed. Okay, this unit has a 744 uh, A on it. it, has a left, center, right, it has a master on and off, it has adjustable regulator. Also has a pressure gauge. The regulator is here, has an indicator on it. it. Shows you where you are. The masters, when you turn these, all three of them would move off. On, off. The regulator, that's opening, excuse me. Closes, this would be less, less pressure, less volume to the unit. One of the things we uh, know is uh, Every tip has a certain range of limitations. So this is another limitation. So you got to have the right tip. Customers ask for eight double O fours. All of them are the same colors. You know, here's an XR. Eight double O four is uh is in the red. Thirty pounds pressure is uh for four miles per hour is twenty six gallons. Five miles per hour is twenty one gallons. I would assume that's what the customer's trying to get to, somewhere around 20 gallons. So it's 30 pounds pressure. So let's crank it up. So we get ready to start it up. We bring the PTO up to 540. So we have very little pressure. We were trying to get to 30 pounds pressure. We just need to close the agitation a little bit. Well, this has blowbacks on it. So one thing you want to watch is how quick the booms turn off. See how quick they are? That saves you a lot of chemicals. Pressure 
pressure system, when you turn off one section, the pressure goes up. You can close off sections that continue to go up. So the only way you can adjust that is with this regulator. To get it to come back down into the 30 pounds. And you can see it's sensitive. There you go. So now if you turn it back on, the pressure's gonna go even less because you don't have as much flow, so then you gotta run it back up. That's one of the disadvantages of not having a meter uh, system. Turn it off, the pressure goes up, nowhere else for the pressure to go. Has to have less volume, same volume, but less places for it to go, so the pressure goes up. We hope this video has answered your questions. Technical assistance is available 24-7 on our YouTube channel or our website, www.newtoncrouch.com. Call us at 800-241-1350. A real person will answer the phone. No recorded menus. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to help you. Proudly made in America. A family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.